If you want to combo up like this, stay tuned as I'll be going over the most advanced combos on NBA 2K23 to keep your defender guessing. These combos are perfect for looking like a dribble guy and also scoring against comp 10 out of 10 times. And you never want to be caught lacking without the best sigs on the game. My dribble style is honestly the best because you don't lose much adrenaline when you combo up and even after the adrenaline nerf, I'm still moving like crazy. But enough talking, let's get right into this tutorial. The first thing y'all boys want to do is to be sure to copy down each and every single one of my six we will be starting from basic moves to advanced so do not skip but be sure to copy each and every single one of my dribble moves the first move we about to get into is known as the crab slide and it is exclusive to the paul george sig that y'all saw on the screen but it looks like this Now this move is dumb effective. As you can see, I use it in all my combos. Sometimes I use it if I want a rim run, you feel me? Sometimes I might use it if I want a three hunt, you feel me? But the way you do this move is say the ball is in your left hand. You wanna hold RT the whole time you're doing this. Hold RT and then flick the right stick upper right. So diagonal upright. So the ball's in my left hand once again. I'm gonna hold RT the whole time and literally just flick the right stick upright that easy the ball is in your right hand you want to hold rt flick the right stick up left that easy the next move i got i just call it like a crab slide into between the legs and it looks like this literally looks like this man easy move to do you feel me i do it in some of my combos but the way you want to start this move is say the ball is in your right hand you want to do the crab slide which once again is rt right stick upper right diagonal and then keep holding rt the whole time you do this move while you're holding rt flick the right stick straight left so we're gonna do the crab slide and then flick the right stick straight left so crab slide straight left crab slide straight left you know what i'm saying it's that easy once again you know what i'm saying you crab slide rt right stick upper right while holding rt steel you flick the right stick straight to the left the next move we got is the speed boost and it looks like this you know what i'm saying like oh my god this move right here this move is the way i get open i ain't gonna lie if i ain't do this move i would not be getting open on this game now this move is key like after you finish cooking somebody you know what i'm saying you comboing up you feel me you trying to score and jump you need this move but the way you do this move is say the ball is in your right hand it's mad easy you hold rt flick the right stick to the right and then just run to the right so hold rt flick the right stick to the right while the ball is in your right hand and then just run so it's like a one go one go but you you literally run instantly right after flicking the right stick to the right you just run so you hold the left stick to the right right after flicking to the right so it's very easy the next move we got is the crab slide into the speed boost fake now this move you can either use this move to rim run or you can use this move to three hunt it looks like this you see how this like a fake out so i'm moving up boom then i boost somewhere else that move is dumb effective i use it to get open all the time but basically all you want to do is do the crab slide and then speed boost right after that's that's a that's a lovely combo bro i've stunned so many people off of this and it ain't even like a stun animation given by 2k it's the fact that you're boosting so fast off of a move that they thought you were gonna do that you're just wide open so this move is dumb effective so basically you rt right stick up crab slide then right after you do the crab slide you speed boost and you can decide where you want to go now i'm gonna tell y'all one thing when y'all do this they're most likely gonna think you're gonna rim run so a good thing to do is when you do this move just go for the three now you can also do it the rim run too bro some people be getting cooked bro some people be trying to over predict and they get cooked now the next move we got is the behind the back very simple you know what i'm saying if the ball's in your right hand you just flick the right stick down left that easy the ball's in your left hand you flick the right stick down right do not hold rt or you will get like some weird wonky animation like that we do not hold rt once again if the ball is in your right hand flick the right stick down left now the next move we got is the crab slide into the behind the back and it looks like this hold on hold on looks like that very easy combo to do but all you do is say the ball is in your left hand you want to crab slide let go of everything so we're gonna crab slide let go of everything and then flick the right stick down left 
So you get this. You know what I'm saying? This is kind of like, so it, it keeps, it lets you keep your combos going. When you're comboing up, you always want to move that like, you know what I'm saying? Stops your combo so that you can keep comboing. Now the next move we got right here, I don't do this move that often no more, but it's known as an attack size up. But I mean, it's kind of like for comboing. I wouldn't say this move will help you get open, but it's really for comboing. You know what I'm saying? But the way you do this move is you hold RT the whole time you're doing this. Hold RT the whole time. And you just flick the right stick up right, then upper left. Upper right, then upper left, but you do it fast. Upper right, then upper left. Upper right, then upper left. That easy. Now, another move I do, but after the patch, I don't do it that often anymore because you now lose adrenaline is the momentum. And it looks like this. You want to hold RT the whole time you're doing it. You know what I'm saying? Looks like that. Everybody loves the momentum. Everybody know what the momentum looks like. But the way you do it is you want to hold RT, flick the right stick up. And then once you flick the right stick up, immediately hold the left stick towards the upper left. So if we're momentuming to the left, the right stick goes up because you just have to flick the right stick up. The right stick up goes up no matter what. And then you hold the left stick to the left like right after hold rt the whole time flick the right stick up the left stick goes upper left but the left stick goes upper left right after you flick up with the right stick so flick up upper left you know what i'm saying flick up upper left that's simple the next move we got is the momentum into quick chain combo okay so the way you do this move now and it looks like this hold on momentum in a quick chain combo hold on hold on let me see if i can get this looks like that so the way you do this is you momentum you momentum and i call it quick chain because it was called quick chain last year so i'm gonna call it quick chain this year the way you know what i'm saying do the crossover after momentum you go right left i mean right down left straight right then down left straight right then down left feel me so you with momentum let go of rt straight right down left and then crab to finish it off so boom boom bo hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on whoa, whoa, whoa. what is you doing my boy boom 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 bro this is so hard to do on camera bro just like that boom 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 hold on hold on hold on one more time just like that so it's a momentum right left and then crab just like that just like that and now the next move we got is the momentum into the crab slot into the behind the back and it looks like this just like that you feel me momentum crab slide boom so basically it's the same concept as the other move i just previously taught so you want a momentum you want a momentum let go of everything crab slot and then down left to do the behind the back now the last move we got that i do you know what i'm saying the last move we got that i do is the side step and it looks like this boom 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 this move was extremely popular on 2k22 you know what i'm saying that's where this move first came out but this move is very easy so basically all you want to do while holding rt the entire time okay holding rt the entire time you want to hold rt you know what i'm saying say the ball is in my right hand I'm gonna flick the right stick down left and at the exact same time, well, like, okay, a second off, I'm gonna flick the right stick down left and then the left stick is gonna, hold on, the le... hold on, let me see, let me make sure, let me make sure. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna redo that. I wanna tell you the wrong thing. So the ball's in your right hand, you wanna hold RT, flick the right stick down left and then the left stick gets held right. Know what I'm saying so you get something like that Hold on. boom 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 all right so say the ball is in my right hand RT right stick down left and then left stick goes straight right so that completes one hold on that completes one oh my god bro bro that completes one so basically you do the you do it the if you want to do it the other way you do the exact same way so the ball is in my left hand when I hold RT flip the right stick down right and then the left stick goes left you know what I'm saying? You get that same thing right here. Feel me? And then, by the way, the left stick is more of a hold. It's not a flick. So don't flick the left stick. Just hold it. Hold it the direction. So if the ball's like in my right hand, my hold RT, right stick down left, hold the left stick to the right. Just like that. 
But if you want to go back and forth, you got to cancel it out. But never let go of RT. You would just flick diagonals and you would flick. So you would flick the diagonals on the right stick and you would flick left right on the uh left stick but that's all for today's dribble tutorial man these are the best dribble moves and combos that you could possibly do on nba 2k23 and it's been your boy disto and i'm out hey.